Welcome to the May flyover of the Gordie Howe Bridge Project. This impressive new bridge spans the Detroit River between Windsor, Ontario, Canada and Detroit, Michigan in the USA. This Winair video explores the Canadian side. It was a wonderful day to fly the new drone. I got some impressive footage, so hang in there till the end as there's a lot going on. I miss getting this freighter under the bridge, however they are impressive. Each year, over 17 million tons of cargo are transported by freighter on the Detroit River, making it one of the busiest and most economically significant waterways in North America for bulk and manufactured goods. The river's ports and terminals play a vital role in supporting regional employment, industry and international trade between the United States and Canada. That's a lot of trade floating up and down the Detroit River. It doesn't, however, take away from the 25% of trade between the USA and Canada crossing the current border between Ontario and Michigan. The Gordie Howe Bridge will facilitate growth and solve the congestion problem on the Ambassador Bridge. With approximately four months to the expected opening, the anticipation, although still prevalent, has been dampened by the trade war between our countries. We can speculate the tariffs will lessen the bridge's success. However, we won't know anything for certain until the bridge is open and serving trade and travel. A lot can happen in four months. We will have to wait and see. A lot is going on and important milestones are being reached. The tower crane on the Canadian side is coming down. The expansion joint has reached a key point in the installation, not to mention all the groundwork and finishing being done through the plaza areas. Let's start with the expansion joint. It is installed and secured in its designated location. Concrete work on one side of the joint is complete, which is a key milestone in the installation process. The next steps typically involve finishing the concrete on the opposite side, ensuring proper alignment and sealing, and then conducting thorough inspections and pressure testing to confirm correct installation and performance. Once both sides are finished and all inspections are passed, the joint will be prepared for the final commissioning as part of the bridge deck. This stage indicates the project is in the final phases of expansion joint installation, with only finishing, inspection and testing remaining before the joint is fully operational. Yes, the tower crane on the 720-foot Canadian Tower is coming down, and this marks another major milestone in the construction project as it nears completion. This timing aligns with the final phases of major high-rise construction, where the tower crane, no longer needed for heavy lifting at height, is typically removed. Dismantling the tower crane from such a tall structure is a complex, carefully planned operation. It usually involves bringing in a large mobile crane to assist in taking down the tower crane piece by piece. Only qualified supervisors and crews can oversee and perform this work, following detailed procedures and regulatory notifications. Dismantling the crane is a standard part of the construction process as the project transitions from heavy construction to finishing work and operational preparation. It typically signals that the construction project is nearing completion. These key steps forward are not the only progress made on the project. Final tensioning and adjustments on the 216 stay cables are ongoing. The bridge deck is about 85% complete. Workers are applying protective coatings and weatherproofing to structural elements, 
installation of fire suppression systems, lighting, electrical wiring, and drainage infrastructure is progressing across the span. Work is underway on a dedicated path for pedestrians and cyclists, which will be a feature of the completed bridge. Buildings and infrastructure at both the U.S. and Canadian ports of entry are being finished, including agency offices, inspection facilities, and road connections to I-75 and Highway 401. As sections are finished, systems are being tested and inspected to ensure safety and operational readiness prior to opening. These activities reflect the finishing touches and in system integrations that prepare the bridge for public use, marking the accumulation of one of North America's largest infrastructure projects. Through the summer, we will see the efforts of both Canadian and American workers coming to the successful completion of this exciting international project. I hope these videos have earned your subscription. Subscribing is free and really does contribute to the continued production of these videos. Join our growing community. I really do appreciate the help and you will always be glad you did. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.